Now let us see the Fleming's left hand rule to decide the direction of motion of that force. Okay. What is the Fleming's left hand rule? The Fleming left hand rule says that if I take my left hand and if I use my these three fingers, index fingers, middle finger and thumb, right angle to each other, okay, this is perpendicular to each other, these two are per perpendicular, this is also perpendicular, these are the perpendicular to each other. Now the rule states that if my four finger shows the direction of the magnetic field, my middle finger shows the direction of the current, then my thumb will show the direction of the motion of the conductor. Okay, this is called as the Fleming's left hand rule. By diagram, we can show that this is z-axis, then this will show me that if my forefinger shows magnetic field, if this is the direction of current, then this is the direction of motion of conductor. This is what the left hand thumb rule says. Okay, you have to write left hand thumb rule exactly as it is given in your textbook because you know that the definitions and rules must be dot to dot same as your textbook okay but for understanding just remember this figure remember your left hand so that you will not forget because the Fleming's left hand rule is a favorite question of examiners now the current is a flow of charge whenever this current is in the magnetic field this charge will experience some force right so this property is used to accelerate the charge particle to very high energies and these high energies of the particle are used to study the structure of matter. Let us go ahead.